What up, Sauce Traps? Welcome back for episode two of our Fallout series. We're going to be doing a double upload today, so I didn't have time to see what you guys said in the comment section before I edited and started uploading this video. So if there's anything that was put in there, I should have it for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for all your support and all the excitement on this series. I hope you guys have a fantastic time, and without further ado, let's jump into it. Right. We are here. What have we got up here? Take the bottles. Take the rat away for sure. Rat away, purified water in a blood pack. Yes, sir. Don't think it's going back down. I think all I did just now was make noise. Alright. Check everything we can on the way to our house. Make sure we get all the loot possible. Ooh, bottle cap. Random ammo. You'll love to see that. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, can of cram. Every time I see cram, it just makes me think of uh, 51st Dates, where uh, they eat like spam and eggs for breakfast, right? And the big, big guy says, uh, you want I should put peanut butter cups in your eggs? Every single time it makes me think of that, which doesn't really make any sense. Because it's only slightly related to that, but it, it that's what I think of. Right, we want to use the security baton if possible. Because we're definitely going to run into bugs. Taking radiation damage, reducing your max health. Visit a doctor, use Rataway to restore that. I'm, I'm not too worried about it right now, but that is good to know. Ooh, a Nuka Cherry. The closest you can get to Code Red, which if you guys know me, Code Red is absolutely elite. Code Red is by far my favorite soda. So being able to snag a Code Red in-game, oof. Ooh, suitcase. Alright, so this is similar to, to how Skyrim's works nice. for that. So I'm decently aware of how that works. Which, we did just get a hat. Which, you know, I'm all about the beanie life. So we're going to go ahead and put that beanie on real fast. I don't really like the folded up part of the beanie, but it's fine. You can't get everything you want all the time, right? We're definitely going to have to switch out of these Vault 111 clothes. Ooh, random pistol in the tub. Not really sure why there's a pistol in your tub. Silver lockets. Let's uh, disarm that before we uh, blow ourselves up, because I saw that. Let's, uh, let's avoid dying this early on in the playthrough. <laughs> there we go. What do we got? Ooh, ammo. A pipe pistol. Silver fork. Cool. Military ammo bag. That's gonna be helpful, I think. A medex. Let's uh let's look at that military bag. Okay, so it's a miscellaneous or something. 
Really? That's uh, a junk? Interesting. So we have our pipe pistol now, too. I'm just going to keep the baton out, though. Baseball glove. Probably not worth anything. But, you know, whatever. Some duct tape. I'm just going to quickly search uh, through all this. I'll bring you guys back whenever uh, we find something or if we get a little action. That way you guys don't have to walk the whole way with me. Ooh, we, got a, we got a rad roach right here. I guess uh, you guys are going to see some of it first. I don't know why I can't grab that light. I feel like I should be able to grab a light. Canned dog food. Oh yeah, you can get dogs in this game. I forgot. I was about to question why you can get dog food, but then I was like, oh yeah, dog meat. Fishing rod. We're not going to bother the radio right now. I am curious how the radios work, but the TV and stuff don't, because they still have to have electricity. And I don't think electricity works right now. Like the electrical grid. I mean, maybe I'm mistaken, and it does. Like, that could be very possible that I'm incorrect, because I'm usually incorrect with things. Now we're going to check this house first. There's Cogsworth right there, or Codsworth, so we're going to avoid him for a minute. I know he's excited about seeing us, and he might come to us in a little bit, but we're going to try to get everything done before uh, we talk to him. Let him be the last thing we uh, worry about. Ooh, cap stash. Let's go. Sweater vest and slacks. Uh, let's let's uh take a look. I don't know what that's gonna look like. It might look pretty dumb with what we have on. Yeah, it doesn't really match the beanie. Let's take the beanie off for now. There we go. We look like a respectable businessman now. Typewriter. Take the typewriter, take the duct tape, take the oil can. Take that makeshift battery. We're not gonna worry about touching that. Looks like there's a power armor station right here. Armor workbench. So it looks like you got everything you need for crafting, like right here in this little spot. Which is pretty nice, you know. Have it close to where we uh, spawn at. So we'll definitely uh, look at doing all that type of stuff. Why is there a used oil can in the refrigerator? I feel like sometimes there's stuff's just in like, the most random spots. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's just very confusing. Ooh, a chef hat. Yes, chef. Immediately putting the chef hat on. I'm not even joking with you. That That's great. Oh, you can't wear the chef hat? Oh, you can. Okay, it's right there. It's at the top. I was about to be upset. <laughs> that's funny. That's some funny stuff right there. I hope you guys are enjoying that. Like, that really makes me laugh a lot. 10 out of 10. There's bloat flies in that. I 
I don't like bloat flies. So bloat flies can actually shoot you from a distance, which is why they're really dangerous. Um, we're going to try to avoid those. And take them out before they can do anything to us in the future. Because they freak me out. Here, no, nothing important. Looks like they have a baby too. I didn't see any other babies in the vault though, so I'm not sure why they they maybe they weren't in the vault. Maybe they didn't get a uh, maybe they didn't get a spot in the vault, and that's possible. It sucks, but it's definitely possible. Nothing there. Can't go in that. Nothing there. Cigar box. Take the ashtray. TV dinner. TV dinner. Lighter. Wonder glue. Screwdriver. Ooh. Cap stash. All about them bottle caps. Hope you guys are saving up your bottle caps in real life because you never know when you're going to need them, guys. You never freaking know. Not to be a pessimist or anything, but this world's crazy, so. You might as well have your bottle caps ready. Ooh, ammo. On to the next house. Got them. Ooh, dog bowl for our dog when we get one. Bubble gum. Obviously, 200 year old bubble gum is going to hit the spot just like that Nuka Cola and pork and beans. Shopping basket. Some random stuff in this, man, that's just left. Which, I mean, understandable because. Who's going to wait to grab things? I had a silver fork, a clean tan suit. What's this stuff on top? Ooh, okay. There we go. Look at all that ammo. Blood pack, a buff out. Don't know what that does. Gold watch. A jet, which I think is a type of drug. Another pipe pistol and some more pre-war money. Heck yes, I love finding those. Why did that bloat fly have bottle caps? We don't question it, we just accept it. Laundered pink dress. Alrighty. And before we talk to Codsworth, we're going to go into our own house. And uh, loot it up real fast. So this is our house that we were in before everything went to crap. As you can see, the same comic book is sitting right here for us. Coffee tin. Sauce pan and sauce lid. You guys knew I was going to take the pan and the lid for the sauce stuff. What kind of sauce would I be if I didn't, right? I had sodas in here, though. I don't know where they went. Codsworth, you've been stealing my sodas, bro. 
take a Mr. Handy Fuel. Not taking the toys and rattles and stuff. Army fatigues. Alright, so I think that's what we're going to wear. Where are they at? So the army fatigues with my gray knit cap. There we go. Now we are looking the part. Board game. Some blocks. I will take the blocks. They remind me of my child. I'm coming, buddy. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you. You know what? Let's take his stuff. Just in case we run into him, right? Why did we have a toy car for him? He wasn't old enough to use that. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Yeah, it is. It is, Codsworth. All right, Codsworth. Um, you're still here? Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Well, I mean, he's not really a people. To be fair. Deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? The wife. Is the missus, by the way? Oh, man. Um. Well, uh. I, she's in a better place, Cogor. She's. in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying. These thing. Uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers or... Cosworth, did you hear what I just said to you, man? Sure I said my wife just died. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Answer God, me. Diana, tell me what's going on. 200 years? That's insane. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give or take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. At times, people withhold with information I'm... or caps can persuade I'm... them. So, uh, yellow is easy, orange is medium, and red is hard whenever you're using persuasion. To improve the chances, increase your charisma. I bet you nothing does get that out. That sounds terrible. Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car. How do you polish rust? Um. Yeah, stay with me. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, oh, everything happened. Thank you. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, I already looked. Codsworth, I already looked. They're not here. Then... They're really gone, aren't they? No, sir. Sean's out there. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What That's the whole goal. We gotta find that kid and we gotta put a bullet in that guy's head checked, that killed our wife. pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. 
Um, Concord? There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain yeah, yeah, I'll definitely uh, take care of that. Thanks, Codsworth. Alright, so obviously we have some stuff we're working on. Okay, well let's see what this what our wife had to say uh, on our little tape here. Oopsie. <laughs> no, no, no. Fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just see it. Right there. Right there. Right, let's, uh, let's take a minute to... Or just take it in okay. for a minute. Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? This might be the saddest thing that he's hearing this after she's died. <laughs> That's funny. That's super sad, actually. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together... It's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. Well, I don't think that's happening now, honey. Everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. That's terrible, man. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye bye. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. Hmm, that's heartbreaking. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. It's been a lot of fun to make, and I'm learning a lot about Fallout 4, and I've been really learning some of the lore outside of this as well and diving into it. And Fallout is really, really, really cool. I'm definitely getting more invested into it than I was in the past, and it's definitely something I can see being a main staple on this channel. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are, if you guys are enjoying the series, uh, if you have any tips or tricks for me, feel free to leave those in the comments section. And while you're down there, go ahead and leave a like on this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well, and ring that notification bell, that way you're notified next time we have a video come out. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, keep it saucy.